Hey everyone, this is Ruby Electric here with the video on how to use your how to use a Construction Master 5 calculator to calculate for your offsets. You can find a lot of this information on your Uglies book. If you turn to page 160, it gives you your trig formula and gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to bend it. it. Shows you how to use your uh, benders, the Chicago style. Uh, how to make your 90s, your repeated 90s or multi shots, how to use your foot benders and three points, all that. So it, it's got a lot of information. The thing is, I didn't learn my offset calculations this way. So with this, the sine, cosine, and tangent, like this is confusing for me. So the way I was taught, I feel like it's simpler. That's just my opinion. If this is how you learned it and this works for you, you're used to it, then just keep at it. Um, this is just for those of you that are starting out or want to try a different way. But so here I just drew a, a little diagram and put some descriptions on there. Put your shrinkage and your multipliers. So let me zoom in real quick. So down here on the left, I have your, your shrinkage per inch. So for every degree of, of band, it has different shrinks per inch. So at 10 degrees, you'll have a 16th inch per, per inch. 15 is eighth, an eighth of an inch. 22 and a half is 316. 30 is a quarter. And then 45, you have 3 eighths. And again, that's per inch. So if you're doing two inches, you multiply these times two, three, four, five, so on and so forth. The, part, the thing is about that is this gets you by with solid numbers. If you're, you're doing, let's say, a 3 and 3 eighths, it, that's where it starts to get a little confusing. And obviously, you can do the math in your head or write it down. It just takes time. These are your multipliers. So depending on your rise or your offset that you need, then you'll multiply that by one of these numbers, depending on what degree you're using. And that'll depend on the size of conduit you're using, uh, the workspace you have, and then also if you want the least amount of pull resistance so that all plays a factor in what degree you end up using and then so up here the way i drew it out it's basically a, this is an offset so you have your diagonal which is your your center to center measurements uh for your offset so from your first bend to your second bend that's your diagonal you have your run that's your measurement center to center running parallel with your piece. So your measurement from this center to this center. And then you have your rise, which is the amount that you're shifting over. Uh, and then you have your pitch, the, the angle that you end up using. So the way it works, the way I, I calculate it, this is again, this is the Construction Master 5. This is the way I was taught my background before electrical was I and E in the industrial industry, bending con or bending tubing for natural gas compressors, process kits, things like that. And everything had to be precise. It's not like where in conduit you have a little bit of play that you can get by and people won't really notice. But for tubing, if you're off a sixteenth, you'll see it because all the all the tubing is strapped together versus conduit you have your spacing in between so if you were off a 16th you'll you'll see some light through there and uh, it doesn't look good anyway so this if you know this or if, you know take a screenshot of this write it down whatever if you have this information you can get by and do the calculations, rough calculations in your head. If you're doing a single piece, easily, you'll, you'll be able to off, do the, your calculations and all that. But then again, you have to do it either in your mat, in your head or write it down or, or still end up using a calculator. Well, if you learn it this method, you take all this and let this do all the work for you. So let's say we're doing a four inch offset. Let's say we have a 1900 box on the wall. We're running on the wall and we have to offset around this box or four point whatever so we know a 1900 box is four inches give or take a 16th or an eighth so four inch box four inch rise 
on your calculator, you'll go. And the reason why I do diagonal, run, rise, pitch is because those are the numbers. Fiddle. Those are the the uh, buttons on the top, and mine are all faded from just years of use. But so let's say we have a four inch rise. And then the degree we want to use, let's keep it simple for this one. Let's say it's a 30 degree. So 30 pitch. So then we go and hit diagonal and that's our measurement. So again, if you're doing it, just using the multiplier, four times two is eight. Now, again, sorry. The cool thing about this is you just hit minus run. So when you hit when you hit the button run that's the measurement for here that's six and fifth six and fifteen sixteenths is the measurement from this center to this center so after you hit minus run you have to hit equals and it gives you your measurement so one and one sixteenth so that's your shrinkage that's how much your piece is going to shrink so this is definitely important if you're doing a 90 after or if you're doing rigid and you can't, let's say you can't fit it in the threader or you don't have your hand threader, whatever it may be. If you need to work, if you, if you need to know your shrinkage, then that's what this is cool for because it'll do the calculations for you. Otherwise, you have to do that in your head as, again. But as you can see, we did a, a four inch rise at a 30. So four times a quarter, that should have been one inch. Well, we got an inch and 16th and it's only a 16th more, but that's where I, where this comes into play is this gets you by. It's not a hundred percent accurate because the more, the taller the offset, then the more it, it takes into effect. So this is a hundred percent accurate. This gets you by. So again, let's do another one. Let's say we're doing a, Let's say we're doing bigger pipe. Let's say we're doing a 12 inch rise at a 15 pitch diagonal. Oh, I must have hit 12 inch rise, 15 pitch diagonal. It's 46 and three eighths. So that's a big, that's a much bigger distance. But again, we're running big pipe. So 46 and 3 eighths minus run equals inch and 9 sixteenths. That's how much our piece is going to shrink. And it, it's not a lot because it's only a 15 degree band. The higher the degrees, the more the shrink. Now, I had talked about in my last video that this you can calculate. You can do the reverse math to calculate your or to figure out what your pitch needs to be or your diagonal needs to be if you're running your conduit where there's an existing one and you want to match it. So whether you're running below it or above it, let's say there's already one piece with an offset and you want to match it, but you don't know what angle they used if you don't have an angle finder or if they're running uh, horizontal instead of their offset going up then all you need is two measurements and that is your your offset your rise obviously so just you can put a straight edge and then get your offset that you need and then your center to centers so you'll put your straight edge you'll measure for your offset and then you'll put your tape as best as you can to the center of their bend to the center of both of their bands once you have those two dimensions then you just go to your calculator and just for an example let's say it's a let's say it's a six inch it's a six inch rise so that it's a six inch offset is what you measured and let's say their center to center ends up being 15 so you'll put 15 diagonal because that's their center to center so once, once you've entered those two, then all you have to hit is pitch, and it tells you it's about a 23 and a half uh, degree bend. 
So now you know you'll mark your your piece at your 15 degree di or I mean 15 inches diagonal. So you'll mark your pieces uh, 15 inches apart. You'll make your two marks 15 inches apart. You'll bend each one to your 23.58 or 23 and a half and that'll give you the matching angle that, that they already have. So that's what's really cool about this. I just wanted to make this as quick video as possible um, while giving you as much information. If I miss something or you didn't understand something, comment down below and I'll try to touch on it. Um, I'm new to all this, making videos, but I, I really like helping people and I think this is the best way to help hundreds or thousands of people. And I hope that this works for you this is how I learned it. If the other way from the Uglies book is the way you learned it, whether it's from school or just in the trade, then keep using it if that's what's working. This is a lot more simple for me, I, in my opinion, and it just works, especially doing the reverse calculation to figure out your matching uh, work pieces. So I hope you like, I hope you guys like the video. Um, I'll, keep thinking of other videos to put out that are helpful and I hope you guys continue to enjoy these videos. Thank you.